I'm speaking to you from the end of this video from the future through the power of editing. Let me know what characters you're upset did not make it into fighters before I do this hypothetical video. Please like and subscribe. So, guys, with the release of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on Dragon Ball Fighters, I do believe that Dragon Ball Fighters is finished. That's my personal opinion. But this is just for funsies. So, this is uh, this is kind of where I would go in my Fighters Pass 4. It's going to be different than I did in my Fighters Pass 3. Um, some characters showed up that I thought would. Some didn't. Um, and they're not all going to return on this list. I'm not just going to instantly put things back on here. So, um, so going forward here, I was just going to go through and I'll give you my thoughts on why I think they should be in the game. Um, maybe the last one is kind of a toss up, but the, the, the first four I feel like are pretty, pretty good to put into the game, even though there may be a lack of, uh, content for them to pull from i do believe that they should try to go out of their way and use their imagination a little bit if they did do a fires pass four and i know there are plenty of characters they could pull from but we'll get into that right i know my first one is going to make some people mad because they always say uh you know don't we're tired of all these characters uh we're tired of all the vachitas all the gokus uh the thing is is they sell like people play those characters and they sell. So as much as people don't want those characters, I mean, it, they're, they're almost no brainers really. Like as as dumb as that sounds, it's like people will just buy them anyway. Like no matter what, like the, the different versions of the characters, they, they will still be played and still be used. Um, so I've seen a decent amount of people say, you know, hey, we well, we got all these Gokus. Let's just go ahead and throw in Majin Bachita. So, I mean, there's plenty of there's there's enough decent things about Majin Bachita that he could have his own move set. Um does that I don't know if that would make him that different from other Vachitas, just his different supers. Um Final Impact, Final Explosion, um I mean, obviously, he's going to have a final flash in there. I mean, every Vegeta has a final flash. But, uh, I mean, there's they can make him a little bit more vicious. You know what I mean? Uh, with his normals. Um, at least in the anime, there's there's plenty of reference between in the in the fight between Goku and, and Majin Vegeta that they could spice him up. You know what I mean? Like, he, he could be a different Vegeta, uh, essentially. So... I, I and I don't count Baby as Vegeta, bro. Like I just don't. Like, that's a different character. Like it, just because he does one fucking thing with his with his, the Final Flash does not mean he's the same character. Um. So yeah, I think Majin Vegeta is just in. Uh, I think if they did do a Fire's Pass Four and they had five characters, I think Majin Vegeta is just he's going to be in it. That's what I think. Now the rest of them. I'm not sure at all, right? The, the the rest of them is all me guessing and all my wants. So, with that going forward, this next character is Shalot. I hope I said that right. Shalot from Dragon Ball Fighters, and specifically Super Saiyan God Shalot, because we have no redheaded Super Saiyan uh, in here at all in Fighters. Period. Um. So, and the reason why I want Shalot in here is because. Like, it would give people hope, right? Like, they can't keep doing DLCs on this game, I don't think. If they, even if they do another one, like, I don't think they'll do a, a fourth one. I just also, <laughs> I don't think they're going to do a fourth one, but if they did do a fourth one, if they added him in here, it would give people hope. They're like, oh, well, we can start pulling from non-canon material besides just Dragon Ball Z and Super and GT, like the non-canon stuff that's in other games. Because Dragon Ball Heroes has all kinds of crazy, wacky things in it. Um, all kinds. Uh, so so going forward, you know, maybe if they pushed a lot in here, it, all of a sudden it would it would hype people up a little bit. Like, oh wait, maybe they might actually 
do something different if they have a fighters too. Which, also in my opinion, I don't think they should do a fighters too. I really, really want them to get their own version of a jump force. Like I would love like a Nar like a Naruto game like fighters. Um, that's what I would personally like because there's so many characters in Naruto as well. Um, I know some people say like One Piece. I know some people say like One Piece also, but that's the thing. I mean. I just, I, I feel like a Jump Force style, but with fighters, I mean, essentially would just be like on the level of like old Marvel's Capcom 2, right? Like they're just like, Jump Force in its, in its inception is a good idea, I think. Um, I just think you need to give it to someone like these guys that have done a marvelous job, uh, take a source material and all kinds of influences from other video games and rolling them into a new game. Uh, that's, that's my personal wish and hope, not for a Fighters 2, but for a Jump Force style, uh, just, just celebration of, I am mostly Shonen. So, okay, so, so that's the reason for Shalot is, you know, it give us all a, a, a little bit of hope, like, hey, they may actually go way deep and way crazy with characters going forward, or they may do a different game, you know what I mean, with some real bag netcode. I have seen people's opinions online, and I have decided to change my mind about not having this character in the game. The more I thought about it, the more I kind of feel like they could do this character justice and make him unique in his own ways, because of, uh... When I think about it, there's not any characters in the game that just use, like, everybody's abilities, right? Like, Cell... Cell doesn't really use that many of the character's abilities, even though that's what he was made out of, was everybody's stuff. Um, Cell kind of just... Excel sale, you know what I mean? Um, but Buhan could use, you know, like, uh, specifically what I'm thinking is, uh, like level three. Um, when he's fighting Bachito, he uses the, he uses the super ghost kamikaze attack. And, uh, they all shot Gallic guns and Kamehameha's out of their hands. Like, that's what I think his level three could be. And they can spice it up. It, it doesn't need to be like it is an anime where people run, right? They can make it flashy. Um, but they could have him do all kinds of things, right? Like, I mean, just he's got so many abilities that he could be doing. Um, so I, and I think you know, having a boo that actually talks some trash back to you would not be the worst thing. Besides, just like you know, fat boo, and then like you know, chaotic kid boo. Um, I know some people don't agree with Boo Han. They would like, uh, you know. Boo Tinks or like some install version of Super Boo and I just feel like that's a little bit too uh I I think that's a little bit too complicated for the character. Uh I think he's just I think he could just be the way he is. Um also I kind of just like Buhan's design. Um the tendril on the head is is pretty cool the way it is. Um it changes if you if you never watched from from regular boo to boo tinks it gets longer and then it turns into almost like all of it is his head i just think his silhouette's awesome right like I, i'm not exactly a fan of the the gi like the goku gi or whatever but or gohan i guess technically right but i i do think the character could have enough things that he could do to be justifiably be his own character in the game okay so next is another thing that i was saying they need to pull from their imagination they got some little source material here, right? But I think we need to go ahead and get this character in a game in some capacity, whether that's in Xenoverse or Fighters or whatever or Dokkan or anything. I think they're all waiting till it eventually someday somehow hits a theater or hits animation in some way. But, I mean, Moro, Moro is, it has come and gone. You know what I mean? Moro's officially been a character arc. He's come and gone. He has no representation in any of the other media at all. And I think by the time they get that deep into Fighters Past 4, they could totally justifiably put him in, right? They could totally pick something and put him in. Um, so that's just where I'm coming with that, right? Like, just look at the just look at the manga. Come up with your own things. Come up with your own, you know, expectations of him. You don't really have... You you gotta break new ground sometime. You know what I mean? Like, there's all these characters they've had have been in other games. Well, this is officially the first character that will never be in any other game. So this is uh, you know, you gotta break strides sometime. So it's time to 
to a wholly unique character, in my opinion. Someone's got to do it. You might as well be you guys. All right. So last, I have gone back and forth. I really want PyCon in the game, but I think we should, going forward, another little thing, especially with what happens in the Mora arc. Hint, hint. Um, I think putting Majub in the game would not be bad. We have a. You could add your dramatic finish with uh, Baby Vegeta. Um, I know that robs Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta of an extra dramatic, right? Against uh, Omega. But if you add Majub into the game, um, I think fans will be fairly happy with Majub. Um, not just because of representation and whatnot, but just because Oob is going to be a, a, a pretty important character going forward, it feels like, in the manga. And even though we can't put Dragon Ball Super Oob in here, just anything, you know, just any kind of little hints or, hey, let's let's put this character somewhere in the game. Um, now, I guess the, the problem with this list is, you know, Majub does use some abilities that the boos do. So having two sort of boos in the same same pass might not be the best thing but we we always get like two we usually get like two sands you know what i mean like in one way or another so i don't i mean these are all things i would love to be different but they just aren't going to be different bro you know what i mean like they just aren't going to be different it's just the way it is like they don't care if they could put every goku and every vegeta and every form on here to sell them i think they probably would like no no lie i think they would do it but i think Majub, um, he does not have extensive amounts of things that he did in the anime, so they're gonna have to spice him up. I mean, he can't just, I mean, I guess I say that, right? He can't just be another beam throwing Kamehameha user, but uh, by God, I'd be wrong. Like, they probably just throw him in and do it anyways. It, but what I'm saying is, I just feel like going forward, you know, we got Moro and Oob makes a small appearance in that arc, um, and going forward, Oob probably will become more of a thing in the uh in the manga if the anime never comes back so uh that's my fires pass four um let me know uh like i said i don't think this is going to happen at all but let me know what characters you guys are really upset that just did not make the cut okay all right so that's uh that's that um Going forward, I, I I think it'd be kind of cool to have these characters in the game, personally. So, uh, if we can't get Robot Netcode or Fighters 2, you know, maybe one more pass. Maybe. I doubt it, but I guess we'll find out in the future. Thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll catch you next time.